Hello. How's everybody Saturday? Hello, hello, hello. Ugh, getting adjusted. All right. How's everybody doing, man? Just kicking off. New settings. There we are. There we are. All right, there we go. What's up, D. Cole? How are you doing? What's up, David? Yo, I'm at work. Gonna miss this. But give your thoughts on Invincible. Your reactions are great, man. Um, I mean, thoughts are. It's fucking insane. Show's amazing. Absolutely dig it. That animation joke at the end, uh, at the beginning of this latest episode was one of the greatest things I've seen recently. Uh, yeah, man. Absolutely enjoying it. But I hope you have a good day at work. Enjoy your time. Hopefully it's not too bad. I'm not sure exactly what you do, but hopefully it goes by real quick for you. What's up, Jen? How are you? Annoying axolotl. <laughs> How are you doing? What's up, Dark Car? King Assassin. What's up? Yummy. What's up, Good Vibes? Horse lovers in the chat. Happy Saturday indeed. What's up, Renan? Mitch Shamrell. Love your reactions and thanks for the content. Well, thank you so much. Welcome, welcome. How's everybody, uh, how's everybody's day so far? What you been up to? What's going on? What we want to talk about today. Uh, no Godzilla versus Kong spoilers. Or X-Kong. Just to kind of get that out of the way. You don't do theatrical movies on the first weekend. Now, I've seen it, and as, as indicated by the, uh, obviously my review, but just for everybody else who hasn't seen it yet, yeah, keep that nice and clean. What's up, Jack? How are you doing? I'm not even going to attempt that one, but what's up, H? <laughs> Welcome. What's up? Finished Atla last night. In short, it was a great show. Lots of fun and badass heartfelt moments with many great characters. Definitely one of my favorites. Maybe not top 10 for sure. Great. Not top 10. Offended. Nah. All good, man. It's, uh, it's, it's, what, what do I have? It's like my top three, I think, for me on mine. All time shows. But I definitely get it. I definitely get it. Much respect. Hopefully going to see Frozen Empire this weekend. Yeah. Hey, looks great. I'm in the theater. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a fun time. Just remember. Just remember. Uh, you know, it's not Godzilla minus one. This is this is a monster movie. <laughs> uh let's see. What's up? Hold on, gotta find my place here. Will you react to the Harry Potter show when it comes? Um, uh, honestly, I, I, I don't know. I'm still so torn up about how to approach my relationship with that, that property these days, just because I'm so of so many minds when it comes to it. Because it is something that means so much to me, but it's also, you know, supports you know <laughs> they who should not be named. <laughs> you know, I also I just feel like it's too early. I like I just don't know. I, I know why WB's doing it. They just want to cash. Ca they would just want to cash grab. Obviously, they'll put the effort into it. I'm sure, but I don't know. It, can they? Is it even possible for them to recapture that magic so soon? I don't know. I'm so like, why are we doing this? You know? I don't know. What's up, Ghost Blade? Hope your con adventures went amazing. They were a lot of fun. They were definitely, definitely one of the fun. Uh, one of the fun. <laughs> a damn good time. Uh, the next one I'm going to is. Uh, tail end of April, I'm going to Vegas for uh, Level Up Con, or Level Up Expo, and then going to 
Raleigh in July. That's my con lineup for the foreseeable future for right now. It's a gum gum. If other jeans stayed, Logan may, <laughs> maybe would have been happier. Hey, maybe one of the jeans would have settled down with him. Watching Narcos on Netflix season three and gonna watch Narcos Mexico after. I've heard really good things about Narcos. I do, it is one of those shows I definitely wanna watch one of these days. The spoilers for Atla, okay. Oh, for sure. Yeah, no, the spoilers for Avatar The Last Airbender is totally, totally okay. Um, do you plan on doing two episodes of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. a week? No. No. Nope, not in the foreseeable future. If we get to a point where it's really slow, it would it could potentially in the future be a very temporary thing. But for a 45-minute episode series, no. Especially one that doesn't have an end in sight that would be anywhere remotely close. Like, if the Netflix drops an eight-episode season, I can bang that out because I know the end is just a few days away. Ages of S.H.I.E.L.D., it's like, I, if I started that up, I'm going to get burned out on it super fucking quick. Because you got to all remember, when I'm doing these, I have to watch every episode twice. And the second time, I spend two to four hours reviewing the episode again. <laughs> so it's it's just, it's real easy to get burned out on it. I uh, heard you're meeting some of the Hell of a Boss cast and Viv in April. That's truly amazing. Hope you have a good time. That's the plan. That's the plan. It's Vegas, so I imagine it's going to be packed full of people. So that's the that's the goal, at least. Um, I did fork out for the VIP ticket, so hopefully that makes getting through the venues and stuff like a little bit easier. But we'll we'll see we'll see. My goal is mainly to make sure I hit Viv, not hit Viv, hit up Viv's table, booth, whatever. Uh, Alex Brightman because he barely shows up in a lot of places. And then Richard Horvitz. I literally, like at, I think it was uh, Columbus. I missed uh, I missed him the entire weekend. And the final time I got to his booth, he was already packing up to leave. And he was like right there. But like all the stuff was getting packed up and I wasn't gonna be that guy to like, like, oh, you're right there. Can I just, you know? No, so like he was, literally five feet from me and I was just like no nah, uh, thanks guys for coming and I, I just passed along anyway ah this time though no, I'll shoot my shot again is Love Lies Bleeding a horror movie I'm not exactly sure what it is to be honest I haven't I've, I've only seen screenshots and stuff from it I haven't watched a trailer I haven't done anything I just uh I'm very curious to see I do kind of want to see it though all things considered is Fury Road on any current polls? It is. It is currently, currently, uh, let's, I won't, I won't want to give too much away here, Kenny, because I know, like, the poll's not closed yet, but it's, it's on the poll, and let's just say for right now, it's in the top five. So we'll see what happens. Anything can happen in the final hours. The poll will close tomorrow night at midnight. Eastern time, so like my time, midnight. It'll the, the I'll be locking out the poll. Rex Blow just turned into Spider Man. That he did with the laser thwip. <laughs> um, in Hell of a Boss, who is your favorite character? Um, right now, uh, Moxie. Uh, Moxie's I think my I, I think he's my favorite character right now. Is he the most complex character right now? <laughs> no, not really. But I just, I just find him so adorable, endearing, fun. His relationship with Millie is great. And plus, I love Richard Horvitz. And something about the frequency of his voice just always brings me pleasure. And it takes me back to my childhood. Because, you know, Daggett, Invader Zim, Alpha 5 from Power Rangers. The guy was all over my childhood. Um, in the appropriate ways. <laughs> um... So it's probably it's probably Moxie. Otherwise, I don't know. It may be Stolas. But in like the short glimmers that we've had so far, and it's very little, and it's mostly just because of the VA and the aesthetic, the design. But I like Fizz. I like every time we've seen Fizz. 
so far. So I hope we get more, and then who knows? That could that could definitely change. Um, what do you think of the fan cast of Olivia Cook as Bellatrix? I, I, it it could work. Definitely isn't one I would have went with myself, but I mean they can make it work. She can definitely play that kind of character well enough. It's just, I don't know if she fits the other elements of the character all that well. Uh, what's up, Lillian? Servina, how you doing, man? I'm doing good. How about yourself? Also, Omni, three things I want to run by you. One, I found out through Kevin Von Eric interview when answering fan questions outside wrestling, he's an aquatic life connoisseur. That's interesting. Uh, the new uh, Crow film hurts me. That's number two. Um, see, I'm torn. I'm torn about the Crow film because while it looks like a good action movie, I just don't like the aesthetic for the our lead. You know, I like the edgy goth shit, and it's leaning a little too much into Jared Leto's Joker kind of aesthetics. Um, if I take that out of my head, it 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 looks kind of badass, but like I just can't get over his vibe but who knows i'm going to give it a chance either way uh what was three uh as for a one piece the best way to enjoy the journey is in between arc by arc take a week off and for fillers just take them on an episode a week and you have to slow build up going back into the next arc it's not a bad idea but yeah based on the poll we're gonna be we'll be chugging along we'll just be moving forward Again, I think a lot of things that people don't really consider all that much was like, oh, just pace yourself off. I just do two or three a day or something like that or do whatever you need to do. And it's like when like you're doing these videos and stuff, like I really don't think a lot of people understand that I have to watch these episodes immediately again. Like it's not like I just sit down one, I, I watch the episode, hit record, and then it just magics its way onto the internet. Like, I spend about, especially for these, uh, one, the One Piece reactions, while the episodes are shorter and doing two of them, when we're doing two of them, it can take me two, it can, mm, it can take me anywhere from four to six hours to get that video up. And I spend all of that time, obviously, combing through the same episodes that I just watched, and it, it can, it can get a little exhausting. I think people forget about the editing element of it. You spend way more time with that episode than you guys get to see. Uh, what's up, Rune? How are you doing? Harry Potter is one of, my, one of the many franchises I can't escape from. Top 10 is so hard. Omni, don't even know uh, what mine are sometimes. There's so many great shows I love. Most uh, have multiple rewatches. It's not any diss or fair on Atla. Maybe just rewatches one day. No, I, I I totally understand. There's so many great shows, so many great shows. So like, I totally get it. I totally get it. I'm just being a little, little butthead. Uh, just started Avatar: The Last Airbender. I've never seen the animated series. I'm on episode three right now, and I'm quite enjoying it. Hell yeah, another one on the ride. Oh god, uh, somebody's going to be talking about spoilers, I think. <laughs> so don't read any of that. Um, I haven't seen your re recent image of the kittens. Have you thought of potential names for them? Um, there's, uh, aside from, there, there's, it's, right now, there's four of them that have pretty much the same color pattern. It's a little difficult to distinguish them. There's one that is solid gray, and then there's one that is gray with white patches. That one, I think we have, we've agreed upon Percy. And then for the solid gray one, I believe uh, Sam wanted to go with Merlin. So I don't, I, I don't the other ones, I, we've, we've got nothing right now. I posited because there's one, one of the, one of the Jumbas, because clearly based on the collar pattern, Jumbas the dad. And also you, the way the mother and him interact compared to any of the other cats, it's definitely, yeah. Um, one of them has a orange leg 
just out of nowhere. One has an orange leg. So, like, I was like, 3PO? <laughs> so, I don't know. Outside of that, still figuring it out. What's up, Toy Maker? How are you doing? What do you think of the first shield pod this season versus the two from the first? Uh, it was pretty insane. Um, I'm not sure... I don't know if I find it as gripping as the final stride of the first season, but it's still really damn good. I like the buildup, and I like that we're finally kind of hitting the stride of this Merc this uh, this kind of arc, this story with Sky and all that. And I, I really just want to know where all that's going to end up going. Um, I like the Ventress versus Bad Batch fight. Oh yeah, she just fucking wrecked them. Love your Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. reactions, and you've also probably heard this before, but excited to see Season 4. I'm excited for Season 4, because I think Season 4 is the the flamey head one, I believe. So now that you've seen the other sins of lust and gluttony, what do you think of both Ozzy, Fizz, and of course, Queen Beelzebub? I mean, it's fun. It's really interesting, because like at the end of the day, obviously they are there to present... A, an aesthetic, a vibe, and all this kind of thing. But I like that they're still humanized and kind of people at the end of the day. Like, I've seen some people complain that they aren't completely, like, taken over by their own sin so much to the point where they're inhuman. In a way, they still are complex. They still have their vices. They still have their, their sweet spots. You know, like, they're all pretty well-rounded people. Well, they're, they're layered people. And I like that they're kind of... That's I, that's one of my favorite things about this world is that they've really kind of played upon the nuances of what's good and what's bad, you know? I, I like that so much about it. But I, I, I really love the designs. Uh, and, yeah, I don't know. I'm excited to see the other ones get a little solid taste. You know, if there is... It's, uh, no, it's a crime thriller. I don't know what this was in regards to. Oh, 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 oh. This was in response to this comment. It's a crime thriller. Gotcha. See, that's kind of the vibe I got from what I saw, but I, since having not seen any of the trailers, I wasn't too sure. Had a blast with Godzilla X Kong. I will say, though, I think despite having less fights that the Godzilla vs. Kong ones were better overall. Like the final Godzilla v. Kong fight, plus Mecha fight was better. Um, I think Godzilla vs. Kong was just overall a more stably structured film, though it still has some dumb shit in it. This was just, this was just a fucking 80s Saturday morning cartoon on cocaine, pretty much. Also a huge fan of the Hellverse, uh, so you talking, taking such a liking to the universe and its characters is awesome to see. I am glad it would not it would not be <laughs> as such if I didn't enjoy it. But like I've been, I I'm borderline just absorbed with all of this stuff, man. Uh, what's a show you've never seen but know a decent amount about? Um. Hmm. What? It's hard to say, like, something I've never seen. Because there's some shows that I've seen episodes of. I mean, there's Lost. While I don't know all of the Lost stuff, I do know the twist ending, which kind of sucks if I were to ever watch it, you know. It's one of those situations where the journey... And I've never seen a single episode of Lost myself. Or the journey maybe outweighs that whole revelation. Um, I don't know. What's a show I've never seen but I know a decent amount about? Hmm. I don't know. That's probably the closest I can say, and it's not like a, a decent amount in my definition of, of such but I don't know it's probably the closest I could say to that that answer Love's Lies Bleeding is a crime thriller with romance 
Um, Atla finale was peak. Zuko being forgiven right away by Iroh. Oh, that moment still brings me to tears. Unhinged Azula, the Zuko and Azula fight. Aang versus Ozai were fire for very different reasons and tones. Zuko saving Katara. Zuko as Fire Lord. And Aang dressed similar to Gyatsu, saying they were friends, hugging and even Sokka Toph Suki mission. Oh, that one too. It's like, I don't think Boomerang's coming back this time, Toph. It's like, bro, like one of the best finales I've ever seen. Yeah, dude. Four fucking episode finale. Watching that when it aired was insane. Mix of uh, Love Lies Bleeding is a mix of murder, love, and when I try to get out, they pull me back in trope. Gotta love that, man. There, I, lo I don't know. I'm, I always love that trope. As much as it gets overused, I do enjoy it. If Alien Alan goes in the Biltramite ship, could he get Omni-Man? That's kind of what I'm hoping. He'll be there, so I hope so. Hope so. Uh, let's see. Do you think Anakin's turn was sudden with how willing he became to just kill all the younglings for the Emperor? Um, in, in the context of the movies alone, yes. I would say so. Um, I once saw a guy in a movie theater who was choking his chicken to Love's Lies Bleeding. That was shared through social media a couple weeks ago. Very wild these days. Are you serious? What the hell? Just in a theater, smacking it, giving it a go. I didn't know the movie was out yet. Is it out? Because I didn't see it on my listing at my, my theater. And that's weird. It's not playing at my theater, but it's playing at some of the other local theaters. Oh, only one of the capital theaters actually has it. Not even, like, the main one. That's weird. Huh. Hmm, okay, well, that's odd. That's odd as hell. Uh, when you're, when are you going, uh, blah, blah, when are you going to do a reaction or live stream with the GF? Um, that, that's all up to her. <laughs> she doesn't, she's not a very, uh, strong camera person. That's probably the meanest way I could have said that. She does not like being in front of the camera. <laughs> no. <laughs> Also, she, 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 yeah. She's also very not, not emotive. Yeah, she beat me to it. That's kind of what I meant on top of she's just uncomfortable being on camera. But she's got uh, a cold hard case of resting bitch face. Not to be too overly <laughs> mean. <laughs> Unless it's Paddington. Uh, she's, she doesn't, she doesn't share that many emotions, man. She's the Fort Knox of uh, opinions and emotions sometimes. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'll be over here like, Bleh! <laughs> I'm in the doghouse. Anyway, uh, when is the next Bad Batch reaction coming out? Uh, when the new episode comes out, I can't, I don't, I can't pull these episodes out of the future. They come out uh, Tuesday nights, Wednesday mornings. <laughs> so then. <laughs> If they took away the face tats and earring, would be so much better, the crow. Yeah, I wasn't going to specify certain things like that, but yeah. And I would just want the sting aesthetic that I loved so much about it. Hell, give him the white face, like pale as fuck, and just the whole fucking paint. I, they tried to go that route, and they did it a little bit, but everything else just, I don't know, it just doesn't feel the same. Plus, I'm missing the long hair. Dude, like, so much of, like, my uh, protagonist aesthetic vibes and even my own, like, does, uh, my own personal aesthetic choices were kind of modeled a long time ago by The Crow. <laughs> what's a popular, uh, what's a popular couple in media you've never shipped? Um, hot topical right now, but I did... Fucking, some of these people are insane as all hell. 
Um, but <laughs> Cloud and Aerith, not a one time have I ever shipped that in my life. <laughs> nope. <laughs> not at all. Um, otherwise, like if we're talking like traditional media, not video games or anything of the sort. Um, well, that was a pop. That wasn't a popular one. What's a popular one that I didn't ship? A lot of people really shipped Zuko and Katara. I definitely, definitely never did. Um, I obviously I thought any allusions to that were just to kind of screw with the audience, which is honestly what the writers actually admitted to. They just did some of that stuff to screw with the audience. Um, same with Naruto and Sakura. Never, never, never put that together. And even Kishimoto trolled the audience with that one many a time. Um, also, hi there, everyone. I hope you're all well. I'm doing pretty good. Ho hope everybody else is. Also, now that it's fully done, I must say that Zuko's arc is no joke. Like, top five character arcs ever, in my opinion. Like, his redemption is so well done. Like, the show is maybe not top ten yet, but his arc is top five. I will second that. I think he's got one of the greatest, like, just character journeys and arcs in all of media. Absolutely love Zuko. He's my guy. All right, am I going to react to the Naked Gun too? It's quite possible. Quite possible. Uh, which X-Men would you fight? Uh, Jubilee. Probably my best chance at actually being alive or <laughs> I wouldn't even dare say I would even win because you see what she did to that fucking creature crawling out of the TV she blew its head off I yeah I couldn't beat any of them realistically yeah I don't know maybe rogue so she could at least suck the life out of me if you know what I'm saying <laughs> what wine am I drinking I'm actually not drinking any wine right now it's a uh, it's a uh, honey whiskey honeyed whiskey <laughs> kid you not that situation actually happened believe it or not yeah i'm not surprised dude i was in a movie theater one time i don't remember what i was there seeing i'm not i don't even remember if i was there with anybody or not i was sitting in the back the very back row and there was there was a couple I was in the dead center, because if I can, I will be dead center. But all the way to the corner, there was a couple just pressed up against the side, just going at it. <laughs> and I'm not going to lie. I've done some non-innocent things in a the theater before, but that is fucking insane. Not like that. <laughs> not like either of these situations that have come up. But, like, that's just ridiculous. You know, like, you go to the movie theater, you make out you know, stuff, but like, that? What the fuck? Jesus Christ. And it wasn't like, there was, there was no like tact at, about it at all. It was just like, what the fuck is going on right now? Let's see, um, where did I leave off? Where'd it go? I lost my chat. I accidentally hit the scroll wheel and I lost it. Here we go. Final three episodes of Arlong Park in one video. I'm willing to bet that took three hours roughly, including editing, having to figure out what's best scenes are to keep in and cut out, etc. Uh, for the three episodes, it was definitely like six hours or so, give or take. Because I also had to like take some breaks during that because sometimes just staring at that timeline and premiere can get really... Uh, taxing as well. Could Netflix buy Star Wars? Uh, I highly, highly, highly doubt they have the money to do that right now. Power of the Cats. Everybody is doing pretty solid. Uh, the mother of the kittens isn't... I mean, she's she's warmed up to us. She doesn't immediately run away anymore, but she still will not let us touch her. Willingly. We get her while she's feeding the cats. She can't do anything, and I'll try to make her accept the pets but she still doesn't like it she doesn't give a shit about us messing with the kittens though hell she will abandon the kittens to let us <laughs> pet them but then we'll come back when they need it but I don't know what her deal is man 
Avatar the live action movie was one of the worst trailers uh, disgust me. It was one of the worst movies. Okay, I'll leave now rather than not get spoiled. Have a great night. Hopefully you left before any of that actually popped off. Avatar the la uh, live action series is okay. Not bad. It was really good. For a live action adaptation, they did a really good job. All things considered. Um, obviously, not all the changes are going to work for everybody. Not all the changes work for me. There are additions that I loved. There are some things that they did completely new that I absolutely love. Um, it's just uh, some of the things they changed that made me scratch my head a little bit. Also, God, after watching a couple of uh, breakdowns of it, and I, I noticed it while watching it, but it was not as apparent as it was as when I watched, we when me and uh, Sam watched, uh, oh, what was it? We watched a, a <laughs> fuck, I'm getting names mixed up in my head, a Drew Gooden breakdown of Avatar The Last Airbender, as well as Dylan is in trouble in his breakdown of the live action, and gosh, they sh it was, yeah, Drew and Dylan both <laughs> fucking destroyed some of the, uh, the story and narrative elements of that, but either way, it's still like 10,000 times better than the movie. I can't find reactions to Hot Shots 1 and 2 loaded uh, weapon or top secret in your video list because I haven't seen any of those movies. So that'd be one. Percy like Percy Jackson? I don't know where she pulled the name from, but in my head, it's going to be Percy from Vox Machina. So that's that's me. That's where I got it. That's my that's my head cannon. See, this is why I asked. The new Atla have been out for so long, but I didn't know if it could be discussed because there are some live action only people. And it's currently watching The Walking Dead, then Blank dies again. Oh yeah, yeah, we've had that happen a few times. I like the cat named Quincy. I'd like that as like a bleach name. Or that's kind of what I would do. Obviously it's an actual name name, but like that's what my brain would equate it to. Out of Has Been Hotel, Has Been Hotel? Sometimes, man, my accent just extremely explodes. Out of Has Been Hotel and the and Hell of a Boss, which one do I like the most? It's going to be Has Been Hotel. It's much more plot centric. I've heard that changes in Hell of a Boss season two. Um, it's kind of just been. I mean, there's been character building and stuff like that, but there's not like a a plot. Uh, has Been Hotel has a mission, has a goal and has a story that is unfolding, a mystery, and all this kind of stuff, and every episode has two songs, and I just love the characters. If I had to pick between the two, I do currently prefer Esben Hotel. But I equally love, but just slightly, which is contradictory, uh, Hell of a Boss. I just like the whole universe so far, man. Percy is my baby. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna be keeping Percy more than likely. Have I seen the Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice teaser trailer? I have. Talking of trailers, we got another Doctor Who trailer tomorrow, or we're getting another Doctor Who trailer tomorrow, plus the episode title. So I see the Disney Doctor Who trailer. I started to watch it, and then I decided I didn't want to continue the trailer just because it's not that far away, and the season's not that long, and I'm just going to go into all of it blind. So I just turned the trailer off after the first little, like, Oh, he's the doctor. He says he travels in time, blah, blah, blah. And there's, it shows like a shot of Rose and I just turned it off. I was like, okay. It was in during the recap of like what we've already seen before anything new actually got shown. So I tapped out. I'm just going to try to go in blind. Solid is Merlin. These names came to me while driving. Out of nowhere? I need to know the inspiration though. Am I going to react to the three body problem? Um, I wasn't sure, but it's solid, high-concept sci-fi show that's pretty bonkers at times. I'm loving it. I know the book is very held in high regard, but I wasn't sure about it. I, no one's talking about it. I've heard absolutely no one talk about it. And I was going to if I could get screeners for it, and I had reached out asking for screeners, but I, I never heard back um, because it's just like a big old, I don't know, it would be a big undertaking right now, and uh, it's like it's, uh, people aren't going to pay attention to it. I don't know. Uh, Godzilla X Kong was amazing. That's all. Ever watched Game of Thrones? Fair enough. Hope you're doing well. What's up, Christian? How are you doing? 
If you're a part of the X-Men team, who would you want to be your best friend? Oh, oh man. Um, hmm. Probably Rogue or Jubilee. Or Kitty Pride. You know, some of the, the younger kids. Some of the other ones that aren't all, like, swept up in the, the, the mission statement as much as the rest of everybody. Plus, they're also the ones that I feel like I could connect to the most compared to the other ones. Also, they might not murder me. Gambit would be also pretty fun, especially if he, like, cooked every day. Oh. My acid reflux, though, would be destroyed by him. Or not destroyed. That would be good. Uh, flared up to all hell eating his cooking, though. Uh, what are your hopes for the Power Rangers reboot universe since we won't get anything till 2025? Also, with the closed casting for the show, who would you fan cast as the core five? Any Cobra Kai candidates? I'm not going to lie. And I'm not, I don't know enough of, of the younger kids these days. Stuff, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know a lot of the uh, people who would potentially be candidates in this. I'm out of the know. I'm too old to keep up with this shit. And yeah, anyway. Uh, but. As unimaginative as it is, the normies today, and I'm <laughs> I'm on their Patreon, and they're already almost about to finish uh, season three on their Patreon of Cobra Kai, but they posted a, uh, a fan cast list that basically, it's just the cast of Cobra Kai and which ranger they align to, and I'm just like, yes, this, do it, make it happen. I don't care if there is zero throt... I don't care if there's zero thought involved. I would totally love that. Outside of that, I don't know. But I would definitely, knowing me, go with a lot of the Cobra Kai kids because they're really the only people of that age range that I know these days. Or know of. That, or the Stranger Things group. But, God, any, any more these days, those kids are annoying the hell out of me. The kids, not the characters. Still going to watch the show. Still going to separate the show from them and... Enjoy it for all hell, because I still love the show, but my god, they just, every now and then, they just say some dumb shit online, man. Except for Finn Wolfhard. You know, he, he's fine. He's just having a sh rough time of it, though. Um, now that you that you have me wishing that we are getting cocaine, <laughs> cocaine Godzilla and Kong movie, like Cocaine Bear of old. That would be, that would be wild. What's up, yikes? Hope you and your kittens are doing well. I've been reading the Silo series, and it's got me excited for the Apple TV show. Hell yeah. I didn't know it was a book series. Are you consider reacting to... Oh, my God. Uh, two ages of episode of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. in the future. I know you do one per week, but maybe something will change, and you'll watch two. I'm really enjoying your reactions. Somebody else literally asked this earlier uh, in the stream, and uh, yeah, right now, no. If, ever, if it got slow enough to the point I needed videos out on the channel, yes. Um, but with a 45-minute show, right now, doing two of those a week, especially with an ending that is still like at least two years away, even doing two a week, a year and a half away, I burn out way too quick. I do, I, I, I die so fast. Uh, your Agent Steel reactions are top tier. I appreciate that. Thank you, Di uh, Dion. I was about to combine both your names there. Actually, no. I think I was about to say Dion. I don't know why. What's up, Smilzy? Uh, how do you feel about all of the has-been vids becoming your top viewed vids now? Um, I understand why they are. For a multitude of reasons. Existing on YouTube and this thing being a YouTube creation and majority of the the fan base being linked into YouTube, it makes sense. Um, plus, more people being online, stuff like that, are geared towards this these days, and analytically, it all makes sense. It is kind of insane to me, especially considering it's this indie little animation. Uh, it's not little at this point, by any stretch of the imagination, but you know what I'm saying. Like coming, It's this thing that, to, to me, I had never heard of, I had seen some of the character work in passing, but never knew what it was tied to. And then it blew up. But 
looking at the past and the most of the fan base who technically shouldn't be watching it <laughs> let's be honest um majority of them don't have prime and for a series that lived on youtube there was a surprising or unsurprising amount of people that had no idea that it was on a streaming service and not going to be on youtube so people were looking at reactions trying to find the episodes and could only find reactions and were for really confused why. And obviously, for people who maybe don't have access to their parents' stuff or whatever, for a multitude of reasons, like there were genuine people seeking out genuine reactions, but there were a lot of people that were confused on how to find the show and were looking through it and the only way they could watch it was through reactions. Which kind of pains me a little bit because obviously that's not what these are for and then they get mad that I'm cutting things out I'm mute muffling the audio and all this kind of stuff because it's not hell of a boss it's not YouTube content this is corporate content and I can't fuck around with that so like it was a it's a whole ordeal but I don't care I absolutely fell in love with it if I <laughs> if I didn't think it was good or worthy it'd be one thing but I was shocked as all hell when like six, seven of these videos surpassed the Mandalorian season two finale. That blew my mind. And by a lot, one of them I think even tripled those numbers, which is insane to me. But hey, I'm not gonna complain. Just not enough of them subscribed, otherwise it would be a over 100k right now, stupid little brats. <laughs> I keyed. I keyed. Oh, man. Uh, let's see. Quick question. Do you ever play any Sonic games? Um, yes. On, a, on occasion. I played all the original ones. I never beat any of them, but I did play all of them. I've, uh, the, uh, the one, though, that I played endlessly, and I beat multiple times, was Sonic Adventure 2. That was, that's my favorite Sonic game. It's, I, it's hands down the one I p played the most. Absolutely love Adventure 2. And um, I played uh, Generations. I played Generations. I played 2006. I played every Sonic game up until 2006, I think. Um, whether or not I finished every one of them is a, is a different story, but yeah. I do like Sonic, and I met the original VA for Sonic uh, a few weekends ago, Jaleel White. Never watched any Naruto, but I'm very educated on it, and Dragon Ball Z. Fair, fair, fair. Yeah, I'll admit, the Bad Batch vs. Avengers fight was so beautifully well done, and so beautifully animated, and the choreography was well done, too. Yes, it was. It was really, really good. Season 8 of Friends right now, early on, Rachel and, uh, told Ross about the baby in the videotape. You know, I was backpacking in Western Europe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice, 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 nice. Omni-Man and Alan would probably be a very powerful duo. Yes, they would. I'm not very emotive. Man, I'm 20 minutes behind already, dude. Uh, it must have been during a sex scene when he started, and then he slept by the end of the movie until he was arrested by the cops. Wow, he fell asleep after two? What the hell? Whatever we act to the Winnie the Pooh horror movies, and did you hear about the Pooniverse? I did hear about the Pooniverse. Um, and maybe one day, maybe one day, I, I might give them a check. I know they're already beginning work on the third one, and the budget has went up again. Have I seen any Power Rangers past the Zordon era? If so, what's your opinion? Um, personally, I, I'm not as attached to the post Zordon era, but I've watched, I don't remember a lot of it. I've watched Mighty Morphin's, the, like the original three seasons many times each. Uh, after that, not as much. Like every season after that, it didn't have the same polar magic. I still watched it, I still loved it. I've seen everything up until the Zordon run, but everything after Mighty Morphin, my, my memory is real fuzzy. After though, after the Zordon era, I don't know, my, my, my ability to stay on board was a little, it was a tested quite a lot. Um, I've seen Ninja Storm, I've seen Dino Thunder, I've seen bits and pieces of all the ones between uh, the end of the Zordon era and present day. I've seen bits and pieces of each one, but the only ones I've seen 
a lot of, if not all of, has been Dino Thunder, which I really liked. Obviously, Jason David Frank, that was the pull. Dinosaurs again, that pulled me in easy. Ninja Storm I thought was really strong. I like Mystic Thunder, but it got a lot of shit. But I really did dig it. Um, I am I know it's kind of a hot take from what I've gathered, even among my friends and stuff. I don't really like outside of Trip. I don't really like SPD that much. Um, RPM, I really liked. Uh, and after RPM is where I really stopped being consistent by any stretch. Also, my brother binged all of the hell of a boss, and one day, he's young and proud of him. Hell yeah, though. How young are we talking? Because this is like talking about what I was just talking about. There's a lot of people that watch this stuff because it's cartoons that realistically are too young to be watching it. But that's the, the old man in me. Because if I was a kid, I'd be watching this too. When I was a kid, when I was like 12, 13, I was watching South Park. So it's not like it's unheard of, but I guess it's just the old man in me now having grown into that being like, yo, you kids, you shouldn't be watching that. Go to bed. <laughs> and it's not even like you can't even do that because it's not like it's a bedtime thing because it's literally just there and you could watch it anytime. Fucking technology. Uh, who's my favorite ship from Avatar? Katara Aang, Zuko Mai, Sakasuki. Uh, Sakasuki. Sakasuki, Sakasuki. Uh, yeah, definitely Sakasuki. They are the best couple. They are awesome. They are a powerhouse together. And Suki is just badass as all fuck. And just the buildup between them, I think, is just the most naturally well done uh, in, the, in the show. I think that's my favorite relationship in the show, especially because Suki was originally supposed to just be a one episode and never again character. It was the fan response to Suki that brought her back later, and then look where she went. It's crazy stuff like that. She's shy. She sounds like Crosshair. No, I wouldn't go that far. She's like, like if you combine Crosshair and Tech, I think you'd, you'd get a good little balance in there. Though sometimes, sometimes in the right conditions, you can get a little wrecker. Um, I'm waiting for the digital release of Love Lies Bleeding. Cannot wait for it. Yeah, if it comes out and I haven't watched it yet, I'll probably go check it out. I'll probably react to it on the channel or something. Love your shirt, mate. Green Ranger forever. Agreed. This was the main... This shirt, once I saw it, was the main reason I got Loot Crate for a time. Because this was a Loot Crate exclusive shirt. And I saw that and I was like, well, I missed that box. So I had to buy it on eBay. Until I finally did, uh, so I, that's how I got this shirt was secondhand on eBay because I missed that box. And then I was like, all right, well, if they got stuff this cool, maybe I'll stay on Loot Crate. And then Loot Crate turned to ass for not long after that. People calling Netflix's Avatar worse than a 2010 film, and I'm just like, calm down. Yeah, anybody saying that is literally just trying to be an edgelord and get attention. Uh, also, engagement, man, with social media right now getting paid and you know points basically for just having a off the cuff fucking random ass bullshit comment that you that you probably don't even believe that's all it is the situation was brought up by my other film uh favorite film youtuber 3c films and even he was flabbergasted by the photo of the guy's <laughs> damn i didn't know uh i didn't know he made a, a video about it i'm gonna have to see what he said about it are you going to do a reaction to the first Beetlejuice movie and honor the second, or are you going to do it for Halloween? I mean, this goes back to some things we've talked about before of doing reactions to movies I've already seen or shows I've already seen. We've talked about me doing an X-Files run-through because of how much I talk about the show and just kind of, like, give, like, a commentary more than a reaction. Um, I don't know for, like, movies how that would play. Like, because I've seen Beetlejuice growing up a fuck ton like a lot it was one of those movies i was just on all the time when i was growing up it was a huge movie for me when i was a kid so i don't know i don't know how that would play uh the show is over but a popular ship that went overboard insane was elicity fandom oh my god jesus yeah 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 i don't i don't mind it i never minded it 
it felt more natural in it after a while to me than most of the other things that happened in the Arrowverse. And I don't know. I don't. I think I don't understand the ex, like the exaggerated, over the top hatred of Felicity in general. I knew you've watched the future bad. Ba I know you've watched the future bad batch episodes. I wish that would make uh, my Tuesday nights a lot easier. How often do you cry at the movies? Um. More than I used to, <laughs> that's for sure. I think I'm just more emotionally open than I was. I've always been a little, just but like I think just in recent years, man, it's just I've been been getting softer and softer emotionally, and or more comfortable being emotional more than anything. Uh, but I wouldn't say all the time, but a lot, a, a decent amount, I cry. Now I got a little misty in Godzilla vs Kong or Godzilla X Kong. A little misty. Didn't cry cry. Didn't get a tear or anything like that. But I got a little glossed over in one particular scene. Which I didn't expect in this movie, but yeah. Quoth the Raven, nevermore. To the Crow reboot. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Ah. The Crow's such a badass concept. I've never read the, the graphic novel. Uh, I should, but I've never read it. Uh What's up, Nuber? First Saturday off in over a year. Bad Batch is peak, and I'm still concerned about the circumstances of Ventress coming back and probably my least favorite Shogun episode. Solid week, though. I mean, I think every episode of Shogun has been fantastic, but I, I understand out of all of it. Um, Let's see. Also, end of season seven before wedding, seeing Chandler's dad for the first time after all the jokes throughout the show was wild. The choice to make him played by a woman, I bet, was and is very controversial. I didn't even notice that was the case. That's a fact I didn't know. But I love what they did with that, though. The resolution to that, because all the jokes and everything that came about it was obviously Chandler working through his trauma. And it's another one of those things that people try to weaponize against the show for having a particular viewpoint or whatever. But then you get to this point and you realize what it was all about and where that's all rooted and then how they resolve it. Just beautifully done. After watching uh, Korra because she got put in Fortnite and that dictates what I watch, I guess, but I have never seen Avatar past six episodes. Should I go back and finish Korra first? Um, if you've never seen the original show, you need to watch that before you continue Korra because there's some things that are set up in the original show, you may not get or understand all that well, because Korra doesn't really help a lot with some of that. I like Korra, but it is still, it does not touch the original for me. Is Capaldi my favorite doctor? Uh, no, it's it's Matt Smith. It, Matt Smith is probably my favorite uh, doctor, but Cap Capaldi's top three, top three for sure. Uh, Gambit all the way. Who's your favorite Doctor Who companion? Donna. Um, classic who, all all time Donna, revival Donna, classic who, uh, Jamie, Jamie's my favorite. Sa close running is Sarah Jane. Soroka sucked the life out of me. You mean like the original live action when Anna Paquin was killing her boyfriend mid activity? Exactly. Kill me that way. Let's do it. Was it at least somewhat saucy movie? That's what I want to know. Like, what was the movie? What movie was was the deed being done to? I would fight Beast because he probably wouldn't try to hurt me, man. I, that's a good point, but if he wanted to, he could. I'm going to check out Korra soon. Heard it's not as good. Seen, though, uh, that I do prefer, but a more majority say step down. Regardless, I feel like it's uh, it'll be worth watching at least once I hopefully have a good time. Oh, it's, I, I do think Korra is, is still worth the watch. I have some issues with it. I don't think it's as good. It, it had a lot of... Uh, it just had a hard job following such an amazing thing here. Um, so yeah, I don't know. It's it's tough to follow something like Avatar, and there's always just people endlessly comparing it. But if you just go into it, go for the ride, it's still fun. It's still really good in a lot of ways. There are some choices I still don't like, but. All things considered, it's still worth the watch. Game was always my favorite as a kid. Also, hi, what's up, Becca? Strawberry flower, howdy. Netflix is gonna have to rob a bank and 
kill Batman's parents for that kind of cash to buy Disney. Yeah. Off your recommendation, I started watching Warrior on Netflix, and despite some tough and emotionally heavy scenes, I like the story and the fight choreography was definitely solid. Which is interesting, because I've actually still never seen the show. So hearing, based on my recommendation, is kind of funny. I hope I get to see it sometime. I uh, love your One Piece live action reactions. Hope you're enjoying the anime as well. I'm really, really enjoying the anime. That's for sure. Um, and we will be continuing it. Uh, what's up, Joshua? I was wondering if you've ever heard of Ark the Animated Series and if you would consider checking it out. I've heard of it. Um, I tried playing the games once and I just could not at all. Um, so I, I don't know anything about the world. I'm not really... I don't really have any curiosity about it. Nothing I saw really kind of caught my eye. I haven't really even heard anybody talking about it. I did see there's a boycott of the show. Don't know what that's about, but I don't know. Right now, it's not really... Uh, I've heard of it, but it's not on the radar at the moment. Or the calendar schedule or anything like that. It's not something I'm, at least right now, considering reacting to or anything of the sort. Not to say that I would never, but right now it's just not a priority. That's That's for sure. I can't believe Titans is the show that brought me to this lovely channel. That is kind of funny, but welcome. I'm glad it did. The ones who live finale tomorrow, hope it's good. I do as well. Do we know what the runtime of the finale is gonna be? I heard someone say like an hour or two hours or something like that. If it's just another hour, 40, 50 minute episode, 50 to an hour long episode, I'm not, I don't know how they wrap it up, man. Uh, gotta go, Omni. Take care and have a great week, bro. Take it easy. Good vibes. Thanks for stopping in. I uh, have three cats named Quincy and a person. I know three cats named Quincy and a person. So you three Quincy cats and a Quincy person. Uh, do I prefer plot-driven shows over episodic shows? I do prefer uh, plot-driven shows. But I don't have anything against episodic shows because obviously my favorite TV show of all time is strongly episodic and that is X-Files. Am I still doing X-Men 97 episodes on your channel? Uh, yes, obviously. <laughs> uh, I, we've done the first three episodes on the channel, so I don't know why I would just randomly stop. It's not, a new episode's not out yet, so I gotta wait on more episodes before I can react to more episodes. Ye be out of nowhere. Uh, while I'm out, have a happy Easter weekend. Stay away from giant creepy bunnies. I think that's something everybody should do. Have I seen the Spider Within Spider-Verse short film Sony released? I have not watched it yet. It's superb, Omni. What was this in relationship to? I don't remember what that was in relationship to. Is that Warrior or something else? I don't know. This... Obviously, we're like 30 minutes behind, so sometimes I'm still not sure exactly what it was in response to. Maybe to three-body problem? Because that was the last thing you brought up. Vox Machina versus the Umbrella Academy. Who you got, Omni? Um, hmm. trying to remember every um, probably Vox Machina it would be close but it would it would probably be Vox Machina in the end um one couple next to me kissed non-stop while I was viewing Shutter Island I wish they were in the same room with me during the awful Clash of the Titans remake. Oh my god, I remember that movie. I saw that in theaters and then Wrath of the Titans as well. One of those, I don't remember which one, but one of those I saw on my birthday too. What's up, Arrow? Maxwell, hope all's good. Your Final Fantasy VII remake videos have been great. How long before you think it gets ported over Steam? Knowing how things have gone with their previous timeline, it'll probably be two years. Um, that's generally how long Sony has a, a ban on their ports is it's it'll probably be one to two years and given the scale of this game if not they've already if they haven't already started working on porting it i'd probably say like one to two years two years max i want to gauge it so i can get back into rebirth to finish it out um a few weeks ago it was revealed that a new spider-man horror fan film was being called the spider and i guess who's playing peter parker 
Carl Grimes himself. I saw a thing of that, but I thought it was like a fan thing, or it was not Spider-Man related at all. I just thought it was like a B movie or something. Billy Bobby Brown says he doesn't watch movies. I didn't see that, and I was like, what the fuck? And then I learned that she used to be, and maybe still is, a flat earther? Not even the movies she's in. Yeah, it's a little weird. A little weird to make movies and not be a fan of movies. If you were a su supernatural creature, what creature would you be? I don't know. What is something that just cover kind of hovers around and sucks the soul out of people? <laughs> I'm a dementor. <laughs> no, I don't know. What would I? What would I be? Supernatural creature. I mean, I would like to be like a, a fucking werewolf or a vampire. That either one would be cool, though. There are detrimental effects to both. But otherwise, I definitely don't want to be dead. I don't want to be a ghost. Don't want to be a zombie. Don't want to be any form of undead, really. Um. Can I just be an angel? I'll just go with an angel. Because I'm just so sweet. Until I whip out the fiery sword and level an entire city just because of uh, a bunch of other shit. Anyway, I was wondering if you've heard of Ark the Enemy. Seriously, we consider checking it out. We just literally talked about this. Pretty stacked cast with Gerard Butler, David Tennant, and Michelle Yeoh. Next bit 97, do you think Morph has a little bit of a thing for Wolverine? I really, I think so. I think so. I do, I did kind of pick up on that. I mean, it was pretty, I thought it was pretty glaring, to be honest. But obviously, Wolverine's just like, Gene! Never let that go, man. More subscribers! Do you have a favorite character in House of the Dragon? It's down to Rhaenyra or um, Damon. And Damon, I just purely love because of Matt Smith. That's the main reason here. You darn youths! Um, after the shower scene, yes, definitely Morph would smash that adamantium. As, yeah, that's what I was thinking there. What's up, Rice Cake? Really been enjoying your hell of a boss reactions. Can't wait for your reaction to season two next week. It keeps getting better and better, in my opinion. Um, I'm going to try to finish and catch up while I'm still going to release everything weekly. I'm going to try to at least get current, um, get a backlog up before the con. So I, I saw somebody mention, it was like, if I'm going to level up Expo, if I do happen, I don't know if I am, but if I do go to their panel or anything like that, or hear them talk about anything to somebody else, maybe in a line, to avoid spoilers of anything, it'd probably be good for me to go ahead and catch up. So I'm going to try to do that before that weekend, uh, it's like the second weekend, and the second to last weekend in April, I think is what it is, or is it the last weekend in April? The tw when, is, when is it? I don't even remember at this point. I, I booked everything the 26th, the 28th, so yeah, the last weekend of April. So it's probably a good idea to do. I got time at least. What do you think of recast? Do they bother you? Do you not care? They always bother me initially. Eventually, I get over it. I'd much rather recast than them kill off a character. Sorry, Emily. I was having the burns on my hand and on my cheek being cleaned. And when new bandages applied, the question: Do you think Lilith was forced into a deal with Adam? Um. Reluctantly nudged into accepting is probably what I would lean into. Forced, I think, is implying a little bit too much. I think there was a, there was just the best thing for Lilith and her family was to accept Adam's deal. Whatever it is. That's what I'm going to go with. Superman Legacy isn't called Legacy anymore. It is just called Superman. Yep. Rest in power. Uh, Louis Gossett Jr. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. These past two years, I've called a legacy. Dang it, James. Well, it only just changed, like a few weeks ago. Who has your favorite lightsaber design? Probably Obi-Wan, his second saber, is probably one of my favorite lightsaber designs. Uh, just period. I love the hilt. 
love all I, I just love the entire aesthetic of it he's it's it's probably my favorite lightsaber design if dragons were real would we have them as pets uh i would like to uh, i would try i wouldn't believe that jason david crank crank blah 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 yeah, it was a rough it was a rough day when I found out about that between him and uh, Chester from uh, Lincoln Park. Man, those were two of those situations that really affected me a lot harder than I ever would have thought. Uh, How to Train Your Dragons would be a documentary. Have I seen the live action Tega Pichu movie? I have. I really enjoyed it. I hope I was hoping they were going to make another one. They said they were, and then nothing. If you have, what are your thoughts about how the Pokemon and their attacks looked? I thought all that was really well done. I, I, I actually liked the way they brought all the, the Pokemon to life for the most part. I can't remember any of them off the top of my head that I was just like, mm, not a fan. I'm technically a kiddish, and I'm watching Hell of a Lost Invincible, Harley Quinn, anyway. See? Yeah. See what I'm saying? It's nothing new. If you're looking for some solid PR seasons, Time Force, Lost Galaxy... Lost Galaxy. Um, Jungle Fury. Jungle Fury, aesthetically, I was a little turned off by, but I've heard really good things about Jungle Fury. RPM, I did really like. Samurai, I watched a couple episodes of, and I didn't. I, I actually thought it was pretty decent so far. I've heard Dino Charge is good, but the rest are mid. Not RPM, SPD. I like RPM. I literally just. I, this may have come in before I shaded on SPD, but I don't remember. Just watched Godzilla X Kong on Thursday night in 40X, and the movie was great. I really enjoyed every bit of it, and I can't wait to watch it again. What are your thoughts on it? Check out my review. <laughs> Just check out my review. Hola, how are things? Love an X-Men 97 cartoon. I can't wait to see how they handle Storm getting her powers back. I'm giddy about that. I thought that was quite the choice to take her powers away. But man, those first two episodes, they showed just how fucking brutally powerful she is. Like... Especially when the Sentinels are like, Oh God, a mega level threat. Shit. <laughs> we got to do some. Like, they definitely were like, We need to have some hot. If we need some stakes, we need to have Storm out of the situation for a little bit. Or come up with something else. Because those little moments, they just showed the Storm is one of the, they, they, they cleared how Storm is one of the most powerful unit, uh, mutants on the planet. I'm excited for Keanu to come back as Constantine. Um, I mean, that was all rumored before, and I think since the DCU, that all those plans got thrown out. I don't know that that's... what One, I don't know if that was happening, and if it was, I highly doubt it's still happening. Um, I'd watch it. It's fine. I don't dislike his Constantine movie. I like it for what it is, but if we are ever going to do anything new with Constantine, either recast, gives us someone new, or give us Matt Ryan. Matt Ryan is the de facto live action Constantine in my brain and you will never change that for now. Unless somebody comes along and does it better. Yeah. Watched all three of the Riddick movies this week just for literally one reason, Katie Sackhoff. I forgot she was in those to be honest. I haven't seen those movies in forever. I also forgot there was a third one because that movie, I remember the third one not being good, or at least I didn't think it was that good when I was a kid. Love how goofy the film is, like how they show a era. It was very show a era. Oh yeah. I believe that was the goal that Wingard intended. I do as well. Uh, what's your expectations for the final episode of Invincible? I don't really know. We have the Viltrumite thing going on. We have this multiverse thing going on, which hasn't really gone anywhere. I really think we're just going to end like Empire Strikes Back style, like half, half resolved and everything else is going to be resolved in a later season. That's the only, that's my best, that's the most solid of a landing I could get into as far as what might happen. Ever heard or seen some of the Beetlejuice musical? Alex Brightman does so good and he voices Beetlejuice lots of other shows now. Um, so Sam Barry was actually the one that introduced me to the music from the musical. I had heard about it, but I had never seen anything from it. And I know in a couple of our road trips, like she was blaring some of those songs in there. And when I was watching Has Been, I was like, why does this guy sound so familiar? And after I looked it up, I was like, oh shit, it's Beetlejuice. <laughs> yeah, man. 
Hell, I'm not gonna lie. I might, you know, I, I'd take him as live action Beetlejuice these days over like a Michael Curtin, Michael Keaton, but that might be a hot take. 4K steel books of GXK are already up for pre-order. Still considering it. You ever watch any of 3C Films videos before? Oh yeah, I watch this stuff all the time. Definitely all the time. Which era villain from the show was my favorite? Prometheus. Prometheus was my favorite uh, villain after everything that happened. Chris is the funniest person uh, I've ever watched on YouTube. I wouldn't go that far. He is vastly entertaining, though. I love his commitment to the bits and his, uh, I don't know. He's got a great, solid presentation. Jealous of his set and that table and all that. Love his setup. In my opinion, I think the kaiju action is the best we've seen in the MonsterVerse. It was well done for me. Oh, I, I agree with that. I, I agree with that. Um, mm, yeah, I agree with that. It's between that and... Uh, Godzilla versus Kong. Do you think Mark will turn his uh, no killing button on in the final episode? I he's probably going to have to. He will probably have to. I give the film a 9.5 out of 10. It was pretty much everything I wanted from something like this. Too bad the critics hate it. It's at 55% and the audience score is 93. I mean, I'm glad you enjoy it. And on your scale. I'm sure it's a 9.5, but it is a very poorly put together movie. <laughs> but I love it. You can love a movie and acknowledge that it is uh, straight popcorn trash, which this movie kind of is, but I love it. Loving it doesn't make it good. <laughs> Let's just say it. That's, my, that's, that's all I will add. Do you think I'm cold-hearted if I don't cry on certain things that would make others cry? But I don't, and it has to hit real close to home for me to cry. Do you think I have no heart? What do you say? It all depends, man. Some people are more resistant to certain things. So I don't think it's that you don't have a heart at all or anything of the sort. It's just like, you know, it is what it is, man. I do believe there are some people that literally do not and cannot empathize at all. Um, but it just depends. Some people are just tougher about certain things or either that or they just don't have uh, the connection needed for it. The reason why the score is low and people are hating on it for one reason is because they're comparing it to Godzilla Minus One. And that is not true at all. Some people are, but no. I mean, it's the... This is all, we're all debating subjectivity now, and I'm not going to get into that because there's no, there's no real reason to it. That, that is happening, but that's not the reason the score is low. I agree that the score should be pretty low. I would never give this movie anything higher than a seven, and I loved the film. But my God, are there plot holes? Is there errors in the pacing and the editing? Um, and again, the humans are detracting from the movie but that's me that's me but every time monster goes smash my child brain goes he he monsters go smash that's why i feel like uh that's why i i i, I don't know i feel like we that's why I was like, feel like some people don't know how to rate or actually critically analyze a film while also enjoying it. You know, there's a separation. My main issue with Shogun is very much like their own way with the book, which is fine, but I don't know how they relegated Ishido to a lackey when he's the main villain besides that peak. Hmm. I think their comment was about your movie theater story. I honestly, I don't remember. Um... No, that's not true. I remember some of them. And they were not sexy movies. <laughs> and you're not supposed to compare the two films together because they are meant to be completely different. What's beautiful about Godzilla is that you can have two different tones. And I, I agree with. That doesn't absolve it. That doesn't absolve it of issues, though. If you, you know, I gotta... For me, at least, for my stance and what I do here on the channel, you know, I have to... I can't just pretend 
problems don't exist because I enjoy it. it. Sometimes it's because of the problems that I even enjoy it. Because when me and my brother were talking shit about Godzilla v Kong, it was fun. It was hilarious. You know, I love the. It's, I always bring it back. The Room is a terrible movie. Do I have fun watching it? Hell yes. But it's not a good movie. But this is a. I mean, this is all subjective. Like, there's no like one way to look at anything. But you're you're discounting other people's disagreement of your opinion on it because of your viewpoint versus any other kind of aspect or uh, point of view that comes into the th the entire thought process. Which is slightly hypocritical, Aiden. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Not to be rude or anything like that. What's up, Typical? How are you doing? Like, how can you have Godzilla movies to be dark, violent, and cunning while you can have another such a goofy, wacky, and fun? Where people are getting tired of Minus One fans comparing the two. I haven't heard any of that. <laughs> Um, let's see. What are you hoping for season two of Hell of Loss is going to bring to the table? Um, just focus in on these character dynamics. Grow these characters out more. We, there's some characters I still need some, I would like some more backstories on. Uh, I just hope we just continue to go this route. Speaking of boycotts, you remember when there were some AI images in Late Night with the Devil starring David Smouchin? I heard a little bit about it. That they used some just for a couple of split seconds in there or whatever, but I don't really know the extent of, I, I haven't kept up with the story or anything like that. Random question, have you seen The Others starring Nicole Kidman? I have, and How to Get Away with a Murder, the Viola Davis series, that I have not. I've seen the first one you mentioned, I have not seen the uh, the second. Confirm that they are getting more MonsterVerse movies, including the Thrun Godzilla and Kong crossover film, because they want it to be a trilogy. What do you think the villain could be? I would like it to be somebody from the actual continuity and not another made-up uh, kaiju. That's the one of the things I didn't care for too much about this. It was fun, but like I could not get behind the uh, what they what they did here. I'm still mildly annoyed that uh, we already burned Ghidorah, but there's possibilities. There's possibilities. I'd love a Gigan to come back and then a resurrected Ghidorah so that we can send that off proper. But, yeah. Uh, when I say off your recommendation of Warrior, you mentioned showing interest, and that was on my watch list for a hot minute, so I figured to give it a chance, especially since it's the Journal of Bruce Lee. Fair enough. You got a point there. Have I seen the Sonic X cartoon? I have. I really enjoyed it. One of the problems I had with JXK is that the main villains weren't in the film as much as they should have been. I can, I can agree with that. It takes a while for all of that to really finally build up. I actually like, liked the Wrath of the Titans. Clash was pretty bad, though. I honestly, I don't remember which was which. And that's not a good sign either, right? What's up, Ginger? Hope everybody had a great stream. Can't watch. Sorry, it's my birthday party, even though it's my birthday tomorrow. Well, happy birthday, regardless. Get out there, have fun. And also, happy Easter to you as well. A B movie? I've never seen a B movie, like the actual a B movie. Uh, happy birthday, Ginger. I mean, I could imagine not watching uh, the movies I was in because I'd be embarrassed of myself and all the singles are drunk. That I get, but movies in general, I don't. I and when you make them, I don't. I don't. I don't get that. You like jazz? Oh. I don't know if those were corresponded there. A couple of theories of what might be the next villain for the third crossover film. I could see them kind of setting up Space Godzilla. Um, Space Godzilla, maybe. Biollante is one I would like to see adapted. Gigan is one. If we've done Ghidorah, if we want to follow that thread back, Gigan would be a route to go for sure. Um, but Space Godzilla, there's a little bit of, uh, I don't know, a little, a little weird. I don't know how they incorporate into this, but I think Biollante, with all the things we've set up with Monarch and everything, could definitely be something we could do. Otherwise, like I said, Gigan or... I don't know. I, I just want Ghidorah to come back and let's do that again. A lot of actors don't like watching themselves when not being a fan of film is wild. Hope I'm not the only one who thought this comparison, but doesn't Anissa kind of look like Sasha Kaye's, uh 
Supergirl from the Flash movie. I thought that as well. Obviously, uh, I don't know which one came first, the Invincible character or the character Sasha Kaye's uh, design was based on. Because it was one of the future runs, because it was uh, Lois and Clark's daughter that they based Sasha Kaye's design on. So I don't know. I don't know when that came out. If you want to watch it being a, oh, a supernatural creature that lays low and sucks the life out of people, you could always be a Jiang Shi, a Chi vampire. Oh my god, it just makes me think of that one dude from fucking What We Do in the Shadows. The guy that just always talks monotone and just sucks the life out of every conversation he starts with people. By the way, would you ever cosplay as Percy from Vox Machina? You look so much like Percy. Um... I mean, maybe, but my the if we're talking Vox Machina cosplays, the one I want to do, the one I will do first, hands down, is, is Vax. He's my favorite character, so um, that's one I'm trying to figure out how to how to put together, because I the second I got through the first season, and then especially once I got into the second season, the second season especially, I was like, I got to do a Vaxeldan cosplay, Matron of Ravens Vaxeldan. I I need to do it. By the way, I must pay my respects for both Sasha and Leslie Grace, who played Batgirl, because they were done so dirty by WB. Thanks a lot, Mr. Zazlak. Yeah, that's still so much... I feel so bad for people that are put in these positions like that, man. And then, you know, you, you think you're going to have this opportunity to this whole thing, and then you 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 kind of get rooted in this idea of what, what's going to come out of it and all this, and then, you know, Zazlak just comes in and just axes it all. So killing T'Challa was wrong. Chadwick didn't even want that. I mean, that's a diff that's a hard situation. I understand it, but yes, I think the character the character had more to give to the world after that. That I don't think it should be beholden to one person, regardless. I get the sentiment, but I do think they should have potentially just recast. Um, I don't know what the new season of Superman Lois has in store, but I can't wait for it to get there. It's very much Galactus Hunger's feeling. Let's go. I can't wait either. Uh, what are my, what are your least favorite Disney movies? Um, Snow White, not a huge fan. Um, Cinderella is also real low on the totem pole. Um, hmm. I don't know. Those are the first two that definitely come to mind. That's for sure. Um, hmm. I'm trying to think. Because there's just so many, but there's there's a a lot I, I love. So like those those are the two that I just I've never really cared for. Sleeping Beauty was, I, uh, Sleeping Beauty is beautiful. I, I like that one a lot because I just saw Rebecca's thing. It was what's with the princess disrespect? I was like, I list two out of a bajillion princesses. Come on, it's like saying like if I talk shit about any Disney movie, I'm talking shit about the princesses. Calm down, get your head out your ass. No, I, I tease, I tease, but no, I, I definitely, I've never really enjoyed those two specifically that much. There's just not a lot of substance for them for me. Uh, like, I like Sleeping Beauty, Alice in Wonderland, you know, Love Aladdin, Lion King. Like, there's so... I, I love, like, most of them, but, like, those two, I've just... I've always been very meh on, realistically. Um, I feel like I'm forgetting a, a shit ton of movies, but those are the first two that jump to mind for me. Uh, we get 15 episodes of Cobra Kai season six. Are we? Has that been said? Where was that said? Hype for Chucky, likewise. Favorite food combination, pizza and ranch. Um, yeah, that's a tough one, man. Uh, da -da. Hmm. I don't know. 
I don't know. I'm not sure here. Uh, House of the Dragon looks promising. I, 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 I haven't watched the trailers for the new season just because when they broke it up, it's like, oh, pick your teams. We're going to have a trailer for each team. I was like, I'm not playing this game. I just, like The second I realized that instead of one trailer, we got a couple different ones, I was like, all right, nah, I'm just going to go in blind. Thank you. So I haven't seen anything for the new season, though. I remember from past streams that your favorite has been song is more than anything. So here's the real question. Original or reprise? Original. <laughs> the reprise is barely a song, though it's beautiful. I love it. But you can't beat the father-daughter Lucifer Charlie sin. Like, this, that whole thing. It's just so, so, so good. God. Uh, which Marvel or DC heroes or villains' powers would be interesting to see in My Hero Academia universe as a quirk? Uh, I've only seen the first episode of My Hero Academia, so... I don't know to what extent things kind of get blown out of proportion in that. Like, I don't know the world all that well. But maybe something like Shazam or... Would be kind of interesting because there's a lot of different varieties to it. Or something like Zatanna. Because it's... It, it, neither of them have, like, straight, like, Shazam a little more so, but neither of them really have, like, straightforward traditional powers in, in, in a sense. Um, mm, yeah, I'll, I, I'll go with, uh, I'll go with Zatanna. Win, YouTuber! Uh, Matt Ryan is the de facto Constantine, period. Bro, he's been his voice actor since Justice League Dark. Even before that, too. Also, what's your favorite Hell of a Boss song of season one? Cotton Candy is stuck in my head right now, but favorite overall, maybe, is uh, Stolas' Lullaby. I forget the name of it. The one he's singing to Octavia in the episode two, I think. Episode two, I think. That opening song, because it's just so, it's just beautiful. And soothing. Uh, Katie is only in the third movie, and I thought the movie was not amazing, but decent. I haven't watched it. I watched it the one time, because that's when he... Uh, be that's when he becomes ruler, isn't it? I I'm pretty sure. I don't remember. It's been a long time. Because Pitch Black was the fucking monster movie, and we got the other one where we actually got to follow him back to an actual planet planet and got all that fleshed out, and then I remember there's one where he's Claiming like his birthright or some shit. I don't remember. Um, have you seen Constantine television show that they aired a few years ago? It was immaculate. Cemented Matt Ryan for me. Uh, I haven't finished it because they took it off of air. Thank you, WB. Fuck off for that. Um, I didn't get to finish the season, but what I did see was fucking amazing. Uh, thank you, Shay, for the super chat. Uh, Chaz Perdomo from Gen V. What? Which one was he? Oh, wow. Wait. 27 years old in a motorcycle accident. That sucks. R I P. -E. Well, shit. Um, that definitely throws a wrench into things. He was one of my favorite characters in that show, too. Well, that sucks. That's depressing. <sighs> I'm just like, where do I leave off? I need a distraction. That sucks, man. I'll, that... Well, we'll see what happens. Do they recast or do they... How are they going to approach this? It's a huge, huge question. See, man, I don't know if I would ever... Like, my father was a motorcycler, like... He was part of a club. The whole spiel. I don't know, man. Something about them. I just don't trust it. You know, this is already just driving any kind of vehicle on an open road is already so dangerous by itself. 
that having just I, I just I don't know if I could do it like it just unnerves me a little bit so, like even just letting other people drive with me as a passenger I can sometimes get a little freaked out that's 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 sad man I still don't know where we left off here we are Matt Ryan got the short end of the stick. Sadly, in Constantine role, he didn't get a proper run. I feel also that witty Welshman got a charm about him. That is very true. Here's a joke. What do you call a happy ghost? Yay. I don't get that one. Um, especially in Assassin's Creed Black Flag. She was a badass in Riddick 2013. Uh, are Showa era films worth it? I've only seen minus one, but... Do they make it a good transition into that from the first film to the subsequent sequels? Um, there are multiple Godzilla continuities. Like, it doesn't evolve from bad Godzilla monster allegory to this. There's just... They they go away for a while, and then when they come back to revive a thing, they're like, what is what might work today? And during the Showa era, after they transitioned away from that sort of thing, Godzilla was always archetypically the villain. Like, you had Mothra being coming in saving the day. You had Godzilla versus Kong, the original one, where Kong and Mothra killed Godzilla. You know, he was always the force everybody was fighting against. Then in the Showa era, they kind of made him the hero, and they got real goofy and it just kind of starts off and goes from there for many, many films. That's when you start to get seeing a lot of the, the versus stuff coming out. Um, it just, uh, I don't know. There's just a multitude of continuities. And then that just stops. And then they start over again. Stop and start. Stop and start. You know. Let's see. Uh, popcorn with cheese dip is legitness. Ugh. I, I, I don't, that, just the sound of that doesn't sound good to me. The fact that they got Kesha to voice Queen Bee is just mind-blowing. Before I watched the episode, it came to my attention that it was delayed uh, because of copyright issues. Once I saw who voiced her in the credits, I was like, obviously, that's why. Other than that, she did an amazing job. She truly has an amazing voice and singing voice. I, I heard she wrote the song and voiced the, did the talking parts, but she still contractually was unable to actually do the song for it. So I don't know if that's correct or not. But I think it was mostly her record label that ended up causing a lot of the problems, but I'm not exactly sure. Still, either way, crazy that they got Kesha and like uh, Norman Reedus and God knows who else. Mm -hmm. I need to see an emotional scene between Daniel and Johnny. Who's with me? Oh, I'm sure we'll get something. I feel like we've had a few here and there, but I, I, I we'll get something along those lines. Why is the Easter Bunny like eggs? A little sussy. A little bit. Morning from Malaysia. Shouts out to Malaysia. Hope you're, I hope the rest of your day's starting off pretty good so far. You prefer Frozen Empire from Ghostbusters or the new Empire from Godzilla X Kong? Oh, Godzilla and Kong. Easy. I, I didn't like the new Ghostbusters. I liked the I liked Afterlife more than Frozen Empire for Go Ghostbusters by itself, but I, I like Godzilla v Kong. Just that's more my speed than anything like that. <laughs> uh, have I ever been to Wahlburgers? No, I've not. I saw one when I was at the X file when I was at File Fest, the X Files convention. Uh, the Mall of America had one. I didn't eat there though. I did see one though. Sometimes bad movies are the best movies. Abraham Lincoln, Vampire Hunter is a terrible movie and I love it because of how bad it is. Just the CGI horse fight alone was worth the price of admission. Also, hi, what's up, O'Reilly? I've seen Hotel Transylvania movies. I think a How to Change Your Dragon series and I mentioned last week would answer some questions you have. Um, yeah, getting into the How to Train Your Dragon shows is probably not gonna happen anytime soon, but um, I have seen the first two Hotel Transylvanias. No, that's, I've seen the first three. There's four, right? Oops. I gotta remember I can't open tabs on that browser when I'm doing this.
Yeah, there's four now. I haven't seen uh, the new one. I have not seen uh, Transform yet. The, like, whatever the new one is. I wonder if uh, Miguel's dad in the final season. Uh, pr I doubt it, but who knows? We'll see. The problem with looking at movie scores online is that they don't gauge enjoyment. I rarely look at Rotten Tomatoes because I enjoy a movie and I don't. A score online does nothing for me. That's exactly. Here's the thing. Like Rotten Tomatoes too, if you read some of the reviews, they enjoy it. But the thing is, they also have to be critical of it. Like, so whether or not they give it a rotten score doesn't mean they also didn't enjoy the movie. You know? Like, I talked trash about it, but I enjoyed it. So, same reason why I... This is why you just can't use Rotten Tomatoes to, jade, to, gud, to judge at all whether or not you're going to like a movie. Same reason why I enjoy uh, AHC and B&R. They're so bad, but they're great. You might want to watch these movies then. I can only recommend. Uh, Wrath has the big three Greek gods. Clash uh, just has Perseus. See, I saw both of them. I remember so little... Buckaroo Banzai across the eighth dimension equals not great, but love it. I've never seen Buckaroo Banzai. Uh, to round out Godzilla X Kong, they could have had a military try to resurrect all the kaiju to mecha versions like Ghidorah, Mothra, etc. That's what I thought they were going to do with the leftover Ghidorah head. Then they used it to psychically control their own robot. That was that was a choice. Uh, if Gigan and Biollante and Destroyer were all brought into the Monsterverse, how would you bring each one in? Maybe Space Godzilla or Mecha Godzilla? Mecha Ghidorah. See, I thought they were going to get a Mecha Ghidorah. That I thought that would make the most sense, and maybe that could be the next thing that happens. But uh, Gigan, obviously, we know uh, Ghidorah is from space, is from either another dimension, is just not from Earth. Whether it's from another dimension or space, Ghidorah is not of Earth. And Gigan in the history of the mon the kaiju universes and stuff is also not from Earth. Usually paired up with Ghidorah, so you could have maybe oh where, where what happened to Ghidorah and maybe they find out. Maybe we can link in to Planet X. Maybe we can link it into the aliens that created and control some of these creatures. Um, it, the space stuff and aliens has already been alluded to in the MonsterVerse multiple times, regardless. But other than the fact that Ghidorah straight up is confirmed to be not from Earth. So, like, that is something that could be explored. Violante, you've got that all over this. Scientists trying to understand uh, the powers that the Titans have. You know, Godzilla's regeneration, his power absorption, his power generation. Violante, in the original, is a genetic ex experiment. They were, it's a botanist working on this stuff, and they're like, well, Godzilla can hyper-regenerate. How can we... Re replicate that how can we study that and they cross his genes with this plant and this plant starts evolving and changing and basically starts to become its own fucking creature and you could do something like that real easily just with what we have currently set up and I, I think that could work I also just like that movie in general 80 uh rate of general 80 center what I would watch is probably considered crap but I love it very true Dream celebrity to meet. Um, hmm. I don't know, man. Right now, I'm just wondering, like, who who would I just be like? Damn, I'd love to go just chat with this person, or even just say hey. Um, that I haven't. Ralph Macchio is probably pretty high on that list right now. Um, William Zabka is going to be at the Rally Con that I'm going to in July, so I got that one crossed off, so I won't include that. Right now, maybe Ralph Macchio, Jackie Chan would be interesting. Um... Here we go again. Keanu Reeves. I, I won't turn around. Keanu Reeves. I haven't met him. <laughs> that would be cool. I'd really like to talk to him. Sasha Kai from the Injustice story where Clark's dream of a perfect world. I'm pretty sure it's Anissa. If you ever watched the movie Parasite, I have not seen it. 
See this? No, there's there's a comic book version of this character as well. It's not just that. But there is, um, I think that was based on that, but it is more modern. So I'm not, sh I'm just not sure because the Invincible also is semi more modern compared. They last 30, 20 years, so I don't know which one technically came first. Have you ever watched the movie Parasite? I have not. I need to. Uh, the honeymoon with the pizza last week was good, very cheesy, and didn't last long. Ayo, pause. Hell yeah. Anyways, gotta go. God bless you and happy Easter. Likewise, right back after you. After you, back to you. Uh, if you cosplay Vax, your, girl, uh, your girlfriend, and I'm going to hit your heartstrings, Omni. But they could cosplay Keela. Very true. Very true. I gotta figure out the wings, though. That's the tough part. Just wanna say, hey! Just got out of the movies. Hell yeah! What'd you see, and how was it? What's with the princess disrespect? I think a killing off T'Challa was just a PR move. As close as that sound, no actor is bigger than a character of that stature. Exactly. That's kind of where I'm at, too. And I, obviously, I think that was the case as well. What's the square root of 64? I don't know. <laughs> Isn't it eight? Yeah, I was right. <laughs> as much as I love uh, every box mocking a member, I honestly, a Scanlan stand Till the day I die. Fair enough. No animation music or top tier, but I've always disliked Hunchback of Notre Dame. I've always hated a fox and a hound just so sad. Thanks. I hate it. It is very depressing, but that's... It's so good, though. But that's the thing. Like, that's not the only thing like that. It's one of those movies where I... I it's not one I can easily re-watch. But I love it. You know... I, 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 it's, it's a great film. Much like What Dreams May Come. A lovely, beautiful movie, but it's so heartbreaking, I can never watch it again. Same with uh, Eternal Sunshine of a Spotless Mind. I, great movie. I don't want to watch it again. It wasn't really a Princess Disney film, but I thoroughly enjoyed Hunchback of Notre Dame. I can relate to Quasimodo being condemned for being different. I think that's what made it really, really good. There's a lot of great stuff in that movie. Um, how can you hate Hunchback? It's been one of the most thoroughly provoking Disney films to me. No, guys, don't make me think of Sweet Little Todd. Fox Down is another example of how millennials had repeated trauma in their films and shows. Never any story, Watership Down, etc. Fox Down 2, however. Yeah, 2 was not very good. Would you consider watching My Hero Academia? One day, I'd like to give it a shot. There was a sequel. There was... I don't know if there was a third. There was definitely a two. Worship Down was traumatic. I haven't seen that one. I don't know that one. Cher, don't tell me that was real sauce. Real source. Oh, yeah. That was about the other thing. Yeah, this is everybody reacting to the passing. Yeah. Have I seen Attic, uh, the has -been Hotel song yet? I haven't yet. Not yet. Yeah, Andre... Uh, he's, he's the opposite of Boo. Oh, I get it. I get it now. You can chat roll where no breaking news, so you don't have to react to stuff like that in real time. It's fine. I, it doesn't bother me at all. We're here to all kind of share in the experience together regardless, so. Persevere. Stuff happens, man. It just happens. I know. Uh, I like how Bulletproof complains about the Guardians when he brought all the evil brains to their location. Very true. Uh, bought the Master Halo Master Chief collection like you advised. Had no idea when I'll start or where to within it. Try to get through a few Fallout games, three, four, New Empire before the series drops. Um, hmm. I mean, if you're looking at where to start, I would just start with Combat Evolved. It still irks the absolute shit out of me, and it seems like they're just trying to ignore the fact that because of just how lambasted the game was and how poorly it was received. It still annoys me, though, that Halo 5 isn't in the Master Chief collection. 
But it's still referenced in Infinite. It's just really annoying. I have no idea why that's the case. Uh, I think you can play it on Game Pass. Uh, so, I still... <sighs> Whatever. <laughs> is it... Like, I still think 5 is playable as bad as it is. You know, unfortunately, it's part of the story that we have. And they pick up after the fact in, in Infinite. So, hopefully, though, like, we, uh, we just kind of get away with that. But, Combat Evolved, start there. Halo 2, Halo 3. Um, hell, just go through the Master Chief stuff. Like, you could go chronological order and do, um, Reach leading into it. But I feel like Reach is a good supplemental game. I don't know. I don't know if you have the emotional weight or the connection or understanding of the characters if you... I'd play it in release order, which was Combat Evolved, Halo 2, Halo 3. Uh, ODST, I think, is in there. It's a fun... It's a, it was an expansion for Halo 3 back when that was still a thing. Uh, then Reach, then 4, 5, Infinite. And if you want to, they're not in the collections or anything like that, there's... The RTSs, which really they set up Halo Infinite. Halo Infinite picks up with some of the elements that were the groundwork that was laid there, but they're not hugely important. He's only 27 year old. Yep. Didn't mean it. It's okay, Shane. Don't worry about it. It's all all good here. What's up, bad cooking? You just joined. Want to say thanks for the content and greetings from Germany. Shouts out to Germany. I do have to go there one of these days, man. I've got family there. And I've just, just never been. I, uh, the only country I've been to that's not the U.S., which is, doesn't count, I was born here, is Canada. And that's barely, it's barely any different. Sorry, Canadians. Um, told you something on Ice Cube's arms. I don't know what that's about. Since there's a third Godzilla and Kong crossover film coming, would you like Adam Winger to return once again, or would you like someone else to do it? I think he's fine. Director-wise, I think he's fine. He just needs to commit to... I think he just needs to... And he's talked about he just wants to, and he's interested in doing it, but I think it's studio. I think it's studio interference. He would like to remove the human element, and I think that would be really interesting to watch. Guess I'll watch Avatar next then. Finish Korra later. That's the best route to go with, I would imagine. I want an Avatar show in the modern world time period. That would be weird. That would be interesting. Uh, I'd definitely check it out, though. Like a Rooker for me, I'd ha like to have a pint with him. That would be really cool. I'd like to talk to him about some of his uh, wilder appearances in films. Gifted one. I, mean, I forgot uh, YouTube allowed gifting now. I for completely forgot about that. And I think, if I remember right, he gifted uh, to... To, to Becca over here got a little membership. I appreciate this. Uh, welcome, welcome. Uh, where are we at? Deadline confirmed that production of Gen B season is going to be pushed back. Understandably, they're going to have to. I don't know, man, because they were either about to start filming or were filming. I can't remember which. And this is 2007. Injustice at its earliest is 2013. But that character, I don't know if it were originated from Injustice is what I was saying. Because I know there's a comic version of that character. It could be Injustice, I don't know. But it seems like, chances are, in this it might actually beat out. I would want to meet Mark Hamill or Tom Holland. Scratch that, rewind. M Mark Hamill. I want to meet Mark Hamill. Mark Hamill. See, like, I, so, so many people sometimes I just, I blank out, you know. David Duchovny would also be on there, but like, uh, hell, I'd even, even though X-Files is like my favorite TV show, I'd probably put Mark Hamill definitely up, up, even above him for that. I just think he'd be more fun to talk to just in general. I feel like Bailante in the MonsterVerse would be scary as fuck, but I feel sorry for her because the scientist tried to combine his daughter and Rose's DNA, then Godzilla, and that's how she came to be. Yeah, it's a whole bunch of fuckery. Shout out to Zipper for gifting memberships. Yeah, we were just talking about that assassin. Uh, what was your reaction when you found out about Akira Toriyama's death first of March? Um, that hit, that heart, that like hit me pretty hard. A lot more than I expected it to. Um, I, uh, 
every time like because my timeline was just nothing but love and that's on all of my social media platforms just people talking about the experiences i mean that was my like while speed racer was the first anime i ever watched i didn't know it was an anime and i didn't really consider I, to me it was just a cartoon up at that point the only real anime that i that got me into anime was dragon ball and i think that was the case for a lot of people in the west thanks to stuff like toonami cartoon network and their stuff and like like that like my i have friendships formed around dragon ball z while i don't love like where it went what it became and stuff like that like it's just like there's no denying like how influential it was and how much of a big part of my life it was like me and my friends like we would just get over together and we would watch the show we still would go to the movie premieres even the new ones like we still go and watch those and like we we make the, that's something we make the time for it's a star wars or dragon ball at times like we would even take the games and we would do our own little role plays build our own game like kind of rpg system get together and just do our own like what if storylines while using the games to kind of put those together so like what we would do is we'd get like budokai or tenkaichi and like we would start at a certain point in the story we would assign out characters by drawing from a hat in the storyline and then we would make their decisions and then also based on those decisions we would fight each other in the game to determine the outcome of the fight in our our what if scenario we would always do that all the time and like it was just such a key component that like once i realized that happened for all you know it just like i would catch myself just getting really torn up over certain posts over certain things like that's that's probably uh that's probably one that's hit me that's a slow that it's like a, a celebrity death that i think it has hit me the most and i never i don't know it's one of those situations where it's like he's the artist he's the guy behind the thing and it's like you know it's just i don't know I, I just like wouldn't have thought like it meant that much but it did like i don't know it's weird it's weird especially when it's like these people we don't really know but then they've they've had such an influence on our lives it's such a weird feeling and i, I just didn't i didn't expect that at all man it, it, it tore me up for days I think you could kind of tell in some of my videos too. I wasn't really feeling some of the. I, I maybe I was a little distance. I don't. I think I did a pretty good job covering it up. But like, I, it really kind of affected me for a little while. Um, let's see. I'm gonna bow out and start the brothers' son on Netflix. Cause between the blue Dino Ranger, Death Dealer from Shang Chi, and Michelle Yeoh sharing screen, it's my kung fu nerd fantasy. I hope you enjoy it. I haven't really heard anybody talking about that show, though. Now I feel depressed, because he was definitely a highlight of Gen V. He really, really was. Actually, did I watch Avatar finish Doctor Who before the new season? I just finished uh, with 10, started 11. I, you got a lot more... You, you got a lot of Doctor Who to catch up on before the show comes back. You might be able to pull it off. Um... But there's not really an Avatar deadline. You got a plenty of time to watch Avatar. So I, if even though I would suggest watching Avatar over Doctor Who, um, to play catch up, you have a deadline with Doctor Who. So I would probably focus on that right now. But when you get a chance, uh, watch Avatar. Love from South Africa. Love right back. Love chance since sabrina that's so devastating i i still have never i still i've only seen the first episode of the sub, new sabrina show never uh stuck through it wouldn't a modern time avatar be the earth nation avatar uh, i mean it just depends on the cycle maybe depending on the timeline i'm not sure it would be earth after after cora but but would that when they said present day do they mean like our time like with our level of technology and world and stuff like that or just the next avatar I, i'm not exactly sure what they meant especially I feel that if avatar did a modern times take on things it'd be similar to heroes save the cheerleaders save the world 
I never saw all of Heroes, but I knew a, a I knew a surprising amount about it because my uh, two of my buddies loved that show. Michael Rooker is the coolest. At a con my friend went to, he was uh, he had some downtime after his autograph session and chatted with my friends and took himself with. Oh, that's cool. That's awesome. What's up, Scott? You think Sentry is the villain of Thunderbolts? Uh, I highly I doubt it, but you never know. Injustice Year 4, I believe. There's a ton of Injustice tie-in books. I've read some of them, but not all of them. Uh, we are getting an Avatar show in the modern day, but in an Edge Runner or Blade Runner modern day, the next Avatar is going to be Earth. It all just depends on the cycle. You can't really relate it to our, our timeline. Things escalate and grow faster in the Avatar universe, but I don't know. Canon or Legends, which do I prefer? Um... A little bit of both. There's some legend stuff I just don't care for, and there's a lot of canon stuff I really don't can for. So if we're talking like picking and choosing stuff, Legends probably wins out overall for me. Sentry is ridiculously OP. Yeah, they are. Uh, I'll play Halo and Release Order then, because also uh, doing the same with Batman Arkham series since I never played those. Fallout, I'm skipping one and two off of a suggestion from John of Collider. Uh, the Fallout series, from my understanding, because I've played very minimal, like not a lot of these games at all, um, but my understanding is like there's a whole philosophy shift that occurred from Fallout after Fallout 2 when the change off, the handoff to a different studio happened. But I don't know. Fallout. You make fun of me. See how many about to eat like a pig. Peace. Peace out. Take care. Have fun. Eat big. Would you watch the Demon Slayer anime? Potentially. Potentially. And damn, I wasn't a huge fan of Chance in the beginning of Gen B, but his character grew on me as the story went on. Loved him in Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. He was a rising star for sure. So he's the best canon character outside of the films. Um... Hmm... I don't know, man. I'd probably go Din Djarin. I love Ahsoka, though. I, well, what am I saying? Why did I say that? It's definitely Ahsoka. Why did I say that? <laughs> I don't know. I think I was talking... I think in my brain I was thinking specifically live-action stuff. But if we're incorporating, like, everything outside of the films, it's definitely Ahsoka. Um... I also have a huge fondness for Cal Kestis as well. Are they actually able to fit Thrawn in the cannon? Yeah, they, they managed to pull that off. And guys, we have caught up with the chat. Uh, it's about that time. I got some stuff to dive into. Well, for once, we were we did not end terribly behind. So, like, it's, uh, yeah, let's go. Uh, one last little thing here. Uh, the creators of the Avatar series stated that them themselves, and we'll be getting movies based on Aang, Roku and Kyoshi. I know we're getting a Kyoshi one. I know we're getting the Aang and his gang. I didn't hear about this Roku one, but oh, you never know. You never know. You can typically skip the first four Fallouts, one Tactics and Brotherhood. Saw the new Ghostbusters, and I think the biggest problem is that they are relying just a little too much on nostalgia factor and not really telling a new story. There was also not a lot of Ghostbusting. It was just a very... There was just way too many characters. We had new characters old characters and the characters from the last movie there's so many people like there was just trying to give everybody screen time and at the end of the day it just I don't know it just didn't gel well to me felt like a three movies mixed into one it was a little weird I didn't hate it but like it just everything about it felt so off um goodbye everyone take it easy let's go most people start with Fallout 3 anyway yeah Fair enough. That's hey, that's what I hear these days. And the show is leaning into the 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 modern Fallout vibe. So you're not gonna really get that by going back to Fallout 1, 2, or any of the previous games back before uh, Bethesda took it over or taught Howard. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoy this. That's all I got for right now. We'll make some food. Maybe play some more Final Fantasy later tonight. We will see what happens, and I will see you guys next weekend for another Whining with Ami.
Take care, everybody.